Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing great. Welcome to the sixth lesson in the module three. The module is about similarities and now we will learn about the parts of similar triangles. Parts of similar triangles, that means the triangles are already similar and we will look into the parts in various conditions. Now, before we begin, let's see the learning objective. That is to solve problems and prove theorems about the parts of similar triangles by using triangle similarity. The, there are no keywords because we have covered the same similar keywords in the previous lessons. Now we will look into the few of the theorems or conditions. Here, let's look at this. The first theorem, 3.11. We can see there are two triangles and you can see there's a straight line, YW and SQ. This is a straight line because it's a right angle here. That means it's upright, 90 degrees, a uh, height line. You know, height is given as 90 degrees. Now, if you look over here, the term altitude means the height. Now, imagine uh, you say there's a mountain. Now, how does the mountain's height measured? It's not the length. It's always the altitude, the topmost point and the bottommost point. The altitude is what? It will be a straight line. 90 degree line to the ground so that is the height altitude so that is what we will be uh, these are also the altitudes we call them altitudes now here whenever you see altitudes see these are similar triangles but if they have corresponding altitudes like if they are corresponding altitudes then their sides are corresponding in the sense what you can do is look at this altitude anyone y w right now, see over here in the textbook, it's written differently. What I usually suggest is if you start with this triangle, you divide by one of the parts of this triangle itself. Now, YW divided by, I can consider YX or YZ, okay, or XZ, anything. So I will consider any of this part or even XW, it's up to you. I can just choose this line or this line or this part or the entire part up to me. Altitude divided by any one, I'll take one of the side, that is y and x. That will be equal to the altitude over here. Since I've written altitude on the top from this triangle, I should write it over here. SQ divided by, now it's important, I've chosen y, x, right? Then I have to choose the corresponding side, that is S, R. That's it. Now, if you are choosing this one, it would be y w divided by y z equals s q w by s q by s t. Now, if you look closely here, it's not the same as this, but we can get it to the same. See, now imagine you just swap this over here and take this over here. You're not doing anything wrong. When it goes to the other side of equal to, from top it goes down. So it would have been y w divided by y z. That will be equal to SQ by ST. Can you see that? It's the same thing. It's up to you to choose. That's the first uh, theorem about the altitudes. Now we can see over here the second one about uh, bisectors. Now angle bisectors. What are angle bisectors? If you recall the angle bisectors are the lines. See these lines which equally bisect the angle. Bisecting, making something into half. Here you can see EW is bisecting this angle. These both parts are equal. This and this is equal. Now then, if you can see an uh, angle bisector which is corresponding, then what you must do is, you, you can, you can sorry, what you must do, no? you can write the proportionality. Let's write the proportionality. Obviously, start with this, um, you know, the angle bisector, UQ, divided by choose any of the side, DU, UE, anything. Okay, let me choose TU. That will be equal to, what did I choose? The altitude, right? The straight line over your midline. So the angle bisector, sorry, that's the technical word. WE, WE, and we have chosen TU, so I should choose DE divided by D. This is the proportionality. You might see a variation of this. Now here you can see it's the same. Like what happens? Here we have written EW divided by D. If you take this over here and this over here, that's the same thing. Okay, the same, not to worry. Now let's go on to the next one, next formula over here, next theorem, is about medians. Now median is a line, so this is a line. 
It's not a 90 degree line, but it's a line which will cut this base into two parts, e two equal parts. That means this side and this side are equal. That's why, that's what this line states. Can you see that? They're equally cut. So such cases, you can also write proportionality with the median. This is a part of the similar triangle. So look over here, SR divided by any part over here. It's up to you. You can choose anything. What I'll choose over here is PS or any of this part or even this line. It's up to you. I'll just choose RQ or uh, SQ. SQ. That will be equal to. Now here, since I've chosen already in the first triangle, here I must be careful. SR is corresponding to JH divided by JG. SQ and JG are corresponding. This would be the thing. You can see over here uh, RS. Yes, that divided by hj yeah, uh, okay that's fine because they have written it down and pq okay they have taken the entire distance we have just taken a part that's fine you know it's the same thing the answer whichever proportionality use will be the same i like to always stick to the first triangle when i'm choosing this side this side the first triangle divided by then the right triangle see now here the median is up equal to the median must be up at the other side so it gives me a easy way to analyze things. So that's why I follow this method. Whichever is easy, just follow that. Coming to the last point, if there is an angle bisector inside a triangle, then we have similarity as well. Now see over here, this is the angle bisector. Uh, sorry, AP is the angle bisector. It equally cuts the angle. Now what happens over here? You can write proportionality between these two. In the sense, now here you can see BP, CP, and BA, CA. Now, whenever a line has cut this line, has cut this angle, bisected it inside a triangle, these two sides will be proportional. As long as the it's an angle bisector. Angle bisector in the sense, this angle must be equal to the other side. So now what it means is, you can choose any one side. Okay, AC, I'll write AC over here, divided by the left side only CP that will be equal to I've chosen AC first so I should write the other side AB divided by BP you can see here uh, here it's just that they have taken this over here and swapped over here. if I take BP to the other side it'll be from denominator it goes to the numerator BP by CP equals instead of AB they have written BA it's the same thing BA by CA this is it so whichever you use, just be confident with it. Whichever you're comfortable, you can follow it. Now, here we have a problem in this figure, in the figure, triangle M, P, M and P and X, Y, Z are similar. They are mentioned. This is similarity. Find the X value. Various ways to solve it. Now, look at what is given. That is most important. What is given M, F and X, G, right? So what we do is we will start with the altitudes. I mean, sorry, medians. This is median because it's cutting this into half. MF divided by, look, what is known here? These both are X and X. This and this is same. Same way over here. Tual, that means even this is tual. So let me choose PF. MF divided by PF. That will be equal to here XG. Because I've taken MF, it must be the median, XG divided by, I've taken PF, so what is ZG? It's known to all. So all you do is substitute the values, MF is 18 divided by PF is X, that will be equal to XG is 27 by 12. Just cross multiply and solve, X goes to the other side, it'll be 18 times 12 divided by 27 equals X. Now you need to simplify, you know, nine table goes two times here, it goes three times here, three, one time, three, four times, four times two is eight, that is equal to X. Or you can just use this entire thing in the calculator, you will get the answer. So this is it, this is how we solve it. Now answer is eight, but look over here, what they have taken is 2XY, they have taken NP, the total, it's fine. See this, sorry, what I've taken is I've just taken one side. It's the same answer because this is proportional. But in the textbook, they have taken the entire thing. So what you do is add X and X. It's just a bit of extra work. Here 12 and 12 will be 24. So you can see there is 24 and 2X. One of the other proportionality is same.
18 by 27. So this is it. All you do is substitute together, solve it or put this entirely in cal calculator. You will get the answer 8. This is how we solve it. We will go to the next problem. Here we have a problem. Okay, see in the question, these values won't be given. Only the figure is given. These values must be substituted by yourselves. Let's read the problem. A digital camera projects an image through its lens and onto its sensor where it is converted into a digital image. Now you might know if you're clicking an image, what happens? There is always a sensor over here. There is lens. The light is flashed and it takes back the reflection of the light. It is imprinted on from the lens. It goes to the sensor and that's how images are done. This, this is just a, a simple technique over here shown like in the sense how it is. Even your eyes work like that. Imagine this sensor is your eye from the retina light goes comes. You know, that's how it works. Basically here this I hope you know this uh, figure in general because in biology or in health science you might have come across this or just basic eye in science you might have come across this. Now here what are important things? Here they have told the distance between the camera's lens and its sensor is known as focal length. This is important. This length K to C is called as focal length. Whenever, wherever the sensor and the distance between the lenses, that's focal length. Now here, let's see what all things are known. Now, it is adjusted depending on the size of the object being projected onto its distance from the camera lens. Now, Mr. Elgin sets a camera up three meters away from a subject. See this person, that is the person in uh, consideration now for the image, is three meters away from the, uh, three meters away. That means from the camera in the sense lens. And who is 1.6 meter tall. See this person is 1.6 meter tall. Yeah, that's the height. So the height of this person is 1.6 and the distance from C to L is 3. This is what you will have to fill in. And then who is 1.6 meter tall if the sensor of the camera is 4.8 millimeters. Now what is the sensor? It is 4.8 millimeters tall. What is the optimum focal length? What is this? Now here you have different dimensions. You can see here there is meters, meters and there is millimeters. So what do you do in such case? So in such cases, you basically have to convert everything into same dimension. Now it's up to you to convert everything into millimeter or this into meter. Now if you know, meter is a standard form. Millimeter means small m, m. This m means 10 to the power minus 3 meters. Or if you just divide this by 1000, Millimeter to meter is always div division by thousand. But if you want to understand better that milli mm, right? 4.8 m and m, that will be 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters. Why? Because small letter m is 10 to the power minus 3 milli. Now, what if it was centimeter? Imagine it was 48 centimeters. Then it would be 48 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters or divide this by 100. Why? Because centi C is 10 to the power minus 3, minus 2, sorry. Okay. So these are few of the important conversions which you use many times. That's why I'm telling you this. If it is centimeter, 10 to the power minus 2, millimeter is 10 to the power minus 3. So all otherwise, you can just remember if it's millimeter, you're converting to meter. Meter is a big dimension. So all you do is divide this by 1000. If it was centimeter, divide by 100. That's it. Now here, if you're divided by 1000, this goes 1, 2, 3. So you'll have uh, two extra zeros. So it's 0 0.0048. That's, that's why we have got that. And this is x. And what about this? 3 and 1.6. Now, I'll directly write the proportionality here. What is the proportionality from here to here, the altitude? That is CL divided by this length, I'll take this length. Why? Because I know only the total length. Instead of halving this, I'll just take the entire length divided by df. That will be equal to here kc divided by uh, what is it? ab. Now substitute the values. Cl is 3 divided by 1.6. That will be equal to kc is x divided by 0 0.048. Now all you need to do is 
put in the calculator directly or take this to the other side and solve it will be 3 into 0 0.048 divided by 1.6 that is equal to x it will take a bit of time to solve it manually so i'll use the calculator here all you need to do is type it out see now if you're thinking after i substitute in the formula i can directly put this see, 3 divided by 1.6 that will be equal to alpha and calc is equal to divide this divide division symbol x is alpha x divided by 0 0.048 now you press shift and solve and then equal to the answer is 0 0.09 or 1 2 3 90 millimeters let's see the answer it is it is 0, 0.0 i'll just write it we got it over here 0 0.09 meter as the x value now if you want to convert this to millimeters again you have to multiply this by thousand to get from millimeter to meters we divide by thousand right so here now you need to write millimeters that means you need to multiply by thousand so 0 0.0009 multiply by thousand is 10 to the power 3 will be millimeters so one, two, three, that will be 90 mm, 90 millimeters is the answer. Sorry, this is the answer. Okay, so you can, oh, sorry, my bad. Let me just check the answer once. Um, okay, I can see my error. Okay, I hope, uh, I guess some of you have already observed it. I have written this wrong. It was what? It was 4.8. Eight. Can you see over here? It's 4.8 millimeters. I considered it. I, I don't know why I did it 48, I guess. It'll be one, two, three. It should be two zeros here. You can see the zeros are two zeros. So it'll be now the answer will be shift and solve and then equal to the answer is 9 into 10 to the power minus 3. That means now I'll just write it out over here 9 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters now minus 3 is m i have told you right m means 10 to the power minus 3 so i can directly write m 9 mm okay otherwise you can take this to the other side it will be 0 0.009 meters okay that would be the meters but it's better to write in mm uh, i apologize for the error which i did it is 0 extra 0 here I forgot to write that it's zero over here. I hope this is clear now. And the answer is not 90, it's nine mm. You can see over here, that's the answer. So over here I can observe there's one more thing. See, look over here, if you remember the SAS, see from this figure, this is the figure, right? Here, you can easily prove these are similar. How can you prove them? We can, uh, we can use angle angle theorem see now over here what is this angle this will be 90 this will be 90 so these are opposite angles so this is one thing and these will be alternate opposite angles so you can easily prove them similar but when you see this case the altitudes and all we have seen the theorem as well we can directly say it's you know we can solve this up okay but if you want to prove also it can be proven and it's mentioned over here see these are the uh, proving uh, things to be similarity by angle and angle because you don't know the dimensions i mean you know the dimensions but they're not equal or you know there is no equal dimension but from angle angle similarity you can prove them similar so that's the thing let's move on to this problem here a police officer is determining way to park his vehicle to observe traffic at the red light if ac let me write it out over here if ac this little distance is how much 512 feet and then rp is 384 feet what about the other distance and y can you see this y is 201 feet 201 feet from b and how far is z from q okay this is x so we have to solve this now what you need to do is looking at this you can see these are altitudes and uh, these are similar triangles now here see these are like vertical opposite it's just the square and then the connects um, here you can directly use the proportionality that is because the altitudes are there i'll use the altitude b by 
divided by this x unknown. Sorry, let me use the same sides, this triangle, same by divided by AC. That will be equal to the opposite side altitude is BZ divided by RP. Now just substitute the values. BY is 201 divided by 512. That will be equal to X divided by 384. Just take this to the other side and solve. Or use the calculator because the numbers are huge. Uh, it will just save time. Now here I will just substitute this. 201 divided by 512 that is equal to alpha x divided by 384. Now shift and solve the answer will be 150.75 and yes that's the answer. Very easy very simple just to look at the similarities and substitute the answer substitute the values and the answer. We will go to another problem find the value of x here x is given now this is what angle bisector we have seen the last theorem on this so i'll directly write the proportionality this side fg divided by this length gj that will be equal to this side because i've taken the longer side first so this side will be the one fh divided by jh now do we have all the dimensions we know the total length is x this much is 12 so what is this total x minus 12 that would be j j h this is the only thing over here because you can't use entire distance no that's not possible because they are not same remember for this angle bisector inside the triangle this side and this side only and this side and this side only so all you do over here is f g will be 30 divided by what is g j it is 12 that is equal to f h is 25 divided by x minus 12 i'll repeat y x minus 12 because we know 12 is this much and the total length is x what is j h it'll be x minus 12. now all you do is substitute this in the calculator here let me sorry here all you need to do is 30 divided by 12 and that is equal to 25 divided by alpha x minus 12. If you have time try to solve it manually without the calculator it really helps you in solving. Uh, you know you can get the numbers easily in your mind then in the future so try to avoid calculator but over here just because of the time constraint I use the calculator and for accurate answers. It's 22. You can solve it by yourself and then check it in the, calcul uh, in the calculator. So the answer must be 22. Yes, x is 22. Now, yeah, that's it. They are asked to solve the value of x. So we found the value of x. Now, here again, they have asked you to solve the value of x. Let's do this one. Again, it's the angle bisector. Same problem. Over here, they have not given any dimension. So I will write it out. A, B, C, and D. So here, if I start with AB, that will be divided by BC, that is equal to, what is the other corresponding to AB? It is AD divided by BC is done, it's CD. Substitute the values, AB is 14 divided by, now what is BC? It's 2X minus 1 minus X, isn't it? Why? Because the total distance minus this distance, CD is X given. But the total distance is 2x minus 1. So this is it. You can solve this. Simplify. You can write it directly and solve it. In the uh, over here, you can do 2x minus x will be x minus 1. Okay. It will be x minus 1 BC value. That is equal to AD is 16 divided by CD will be x. Now, all you do is substitute in the calculator and solve. Here... Again, 14 divided by x minus 1, that will be equal to 16 divided by, sorry. Okay, uh, okay, it's there. 16 divided by alpha x. And now you can press shift and solve. And the answer is, it's taking a bit of, okay, uh, for some reason, let me just clear the calculator one second. 
I hope that it usually works. If it doesn't work, just clear your calculator, okay? Because sometimes, because of the stored value or because I pressed something wrong, it may not work. Let's try this now. 14 divided by alpha x minus 1. That will be equal to 16 divided by only x. So shift and solve. The answer must be 8. So the answer is 8. Now it's a good thing I didn't get the answer. Sometimes you'll get an error. So what you do is shift and 9. That will start the clearing option. Then you need to press 3 equal to AC. So just remember that. Now even if I put over here instead of this 14 divided by x minus 1 is there, right? I can put 2x minus x. I will show that. 2x minus x. It will be the same answer. Shift and solve and press equal to. The answer is 8. I hope this is clear. This is how we solve it. Or if you're doing it manually, just take x over there, x over here. Then you can simplify. You will get the same answer. So that's it. If you're thinking how to solve it uh, without calculator, I'll just tell you because there are two x's. If you're getting confused, cross multiply. x goes to the other side, 14x. Here it will be 16 times x minus 1. Use the distributive property. It will be 16x minus 16 and over here it's 14x. The smaller variable will go to the other side. 16 goes to the other side. 16 equals 16x minus 14x. This will be 2x equals 16. Divide both the sides by 2. You will have x equals 8. This is how you solve it. I just did this because it's two variable. And if you're getting confused, just know these are the methods. And that's the end of this lesson. We have come to the end. Uh, this is it. If you have any doubts, any clarification, please do post them in the comments. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And this is the last lesson of this module so we are done with this module similarity that's the third module in the next video we'll go to the new module please do stay tuned and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe it would mean so much to me and wish you all the best and take care guys see you in the next video bye bye for now